Hey phonies, Crazy Pretzel here on this lovely day outside. It's nice and cloudy and raining outside. Beautiful weather to get out and feel alive today. At least that's, this is the kind of weather that someone crazy like myself would enjoy. So, why am I here today? Well, basically I've got four points to make today. Four things to discuss. So, I'm going to jump right into it. Uh, the first thing is, um, I guess the wrestling revolution is having like a contest to like, see who the, you know, best member is as far as like video quality goes and whatnot. Um, we here at the Classic 1333 channel aren't actually participating in this contest because, um, we never, like, even got asked to participate, so I didn't know that it was mandatory. And besides that, I, Crazy Pretzel, am not actually a member of the Wrestling Revolution, and I run this channel, so why should I be involved in a foolish contest? And besides that, we already know who the best guy in the Wrestling Revolution is. Well... He's no longer really in the group so much because I don't know what happened to him. It was CJ Styles. That guy made, like, great videos and was, you know, everyone else was down here. And this guy was, like, up on top of the mountain looking below. This guy was excellent. But I think if somebody should win this contest, I am going to go with Zamario Because Zamario makes great raw reviews and he just tells it like it is. He's got a, a keen, awesome attitude. You know, he's not afraid to knock somebody over if he has to to get his point. And that's the killer attitude that Crazy Pretzel enjoys and endorses. So props to you, Zamario. Crush everybody else in this contest. So that's point number one. Point number two, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Delicious candy. But you know what makes me angry? Look at the size of this fucker. Look how small this is. You know, when I was a young kid... We used to buy Reese's, like, in, you know, four packs, like the king size, whatever, and they were actually decent-sized Reese's. Why are they so freaking tiny nowadays? I mean, seriously. You know, is it getting so expensive to make good-sized Reese's anymore? They're getting so freaking small. Pretty soon they're going to be so small, they won't even be able to sell them. You know what I mean? It's like they got to make their profits now in, like, Reese's Pieces and stuff. Which, you know, Reese's Pieces is all right, but it's not the exact same Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. It's like you got to buy, like, a whole bag of the little tiny ones instead of just enjoying a good pack of, you know, four good-sized ones in the king size. Because even if you buy, like, a standard two-pack, they're still too small. It's absolutely ridiculous. They need to go back to the original size of Reese's or else things are going to start changing for that company and not in a positive light. All right. Third point, Ted DiBiase. This guy has one of the stupidest things going right now. DiBiase posse, more like the DiBiase pussy. This guy has such a terrible gimmick right now. This guy went from having such a great gimmick as to like, you know, being a rich, arrogant, you know, prick that everybody disliked. And now he's like, you know, trying to be like a good guy with the fans or something because he'll go to shows and tailgate with the fans or something. You know, I can't accept that with this guy. Because this is this guy, Ted DiBiase, quote the name DiBiase, is supposed to be the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase's son. So he's supposed to have, like, you know, a good amount of money or inheritance or something. Because I swear they never had a storyline that they said that he spent it all. You know what I mean? So I can't really take this guy seriously for being, like, a good guy as far as his whole DiBiase posse goes. I think the storyline is stupid. I mean, I'm, gr I'm grateful this guy's, like, on TV, and he's, you know, he's a good wrestler, he's winning matches, but this storyline is absolutely terrible for him. They really need to do something else with him. You know, turn him heel again, do something with him. Or if nothing else, if he's going to be a face, like, give him some, something better to do than just saying, oh, it's DiBiase Posse. DiBiase Pussy is all I got to say about that. And my fourth point, Sheamus. I'm going to talk about Sheamus. Um, Zamario mentioned basically how Sheamus has been like a, a face that he really hasn't done a lot, you know, kind of been directionless. I kind of agree with them because like ever since Sheamus has been a good guy, he hasn't really been like chasing, you know, any world titles or anything. I mean, yeah, he's had some decent feuds like with Christian, for example, you know, he's still having good matches, but I'm really not liking, one thing I'm not liking so much about the face turn with him is because he's becoming kind of like a super scenic type character. You know, 
I know they try to, you know, portray him as being tough and being able to, like, take a lot of abuse and whatnot. But the problem is, is it's getting to the point that he's, like, not selling anything anymore. Um, I recall on a SmackDown a couple weeks ago, Christian attacked him, and he speared him, like, one, you know, speared him, and then Sheamus got back up after it. And then he speared him the second time, and then when Christian was leaving the ring, Sheamus was still getting up after that. Yeah, he's holding his ribs, but, I mean, he's still getting up from him. I mean, I'm not a fan of Christian using his spear, but if it's supposed to be, like, you know, his finishing move, shouldn't it at least keep the guy down for a while? Or at least keep him on the ground clutching at his ribs? You know, like crazy? I mean, I really don't like that. And one thing you can note, too, like on Monday Night Raw last week, or this week, I should say, was um, they had Sheamus versus Jack Swagger, which was a pretty good match. But what I hated was the finish of it, because Jack Swagger actually got Sheamus, like, in an ankle lock for a while. Well, it wasn't too long, but it was at least, you know, I would say long enough that at least it's going to definitely hurt your ankle and make you want to limp on it for a while. So what happens when Sheamus gets out of it? He hits the bro kick and pins him, and that's it. I mean, completely no-selled the ankle lock. You know, if you're going to, like, be in something like that, you're going to be limping. If they want to put any kind of realistic perspective on wrestling, which I know it's fake, kind of scripted, but it's like, you know... At least have him, like, you know, sell the injury for a while instead of just randomly being able just to leap up to his feet and hit the brogue kick. I mean, it just makes no sense. So, anyway, that's pretty much my four points I wanted to make. Happy Thanksgiving to all you guys, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.